Hey, Francis, thanks for being here, man. Thank you for having me. I'm so glad we're doing this. Francis Rodriguez is the, the composer of American Thief. And uh, my name is Michel Stolnicki. I'm the writer-producer. Our film is uh, coming out now in uh, select theaters everywhere in the country. And we're also at virtual cinema. So you can watch it at home and you can just go to film, filmmovement.com and, and rent it from there uh, for only for limited time. So Francis, can you tell us a little bit about who you are, your background and how we got connected to do this film? Sure. Uh, so my name is Francis Rodriguez. Um, I study uh, music composition in a conservatory in Puerto Rico, which is where I'm originally from. Uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico, and I came to, in 2006, I moved to New York. Uh, I studied film scoring, actually, in, in NYU. Uh, I've been doing scores since pretty much then, maybe a little bit before I moved to New York. Um, and, and yeah, I've been working a lot of short films, a lot of uh, independent directors in, here in New York, also in, in LA, and in Puerto Rico as well. And, and yeah, as working with being in the community of, of filmmakers here, that's how I met uh, uh, Miguel and also uh, Michelle. So, and that's how we got into American Thief. We, we started this whole process in, in the fall of 2015. And I think you came in like a year later. Yeah. Yeah, probably because I, I remember that the film was like, like around two hours and there was a yeah. lot of material. There yeah. was a lot of, and, and yeah, there was still, you know, editing happening. So, yeah. But uh, but yeah, I do remember that then you guys shot at, like a couple of more things that that. Um, but yeah, then the story kind of like started changing, which it it was a really good good uh, angle to for for what the the film ended up being. So, can you talk a little bit about this process, like how it started, like the first compositions and and doing the score for the mm -hmm. film? What was like your like creative uh, input? How did it all begin? So I met first uh, Miguel and we, we got together. We watched uh, back then what the film was uh, kind of like in the way that it was developing. And uh, just to kind of like have a sense of what sonically needed, right? Uh, it had already a temp track that was kind of like uh, at least serving in terms of uh, emotionally what the film needed. Uh, but obviously, the, you know, it needed a more... Um, the music needed to be more attached to the characters, more to the actual emotions that were happening. Um, rather, the ten track is always kind of like a, it's like a general way of capturing what you want, there, right? So Miguel expressed uh, that to me, like what is exactly that he wanted it to uh, musically in terms of the the, the scenes. Um, I remember I started with one of the. Um, I don't want to say so much about the scenes, right? But uh, but it was one of the kind of like the last scenes on the on the film, um, and yeah, uh, I remember asking him if, if if there was a scene that he felt like would summarize uh, the kind of like the sound of the film. Like, if there's a scene specifically that he felt like, you know, this is this is this is what we need to get to. This is this is it right here. Mm -hmm. So. And that helped me a lot because I knew that this was kind of like, okay, this is the peak of what we need sonically, right? So what we will do, I guess, in the other cues is more kind of like building to this. Yes. So, and that's how we started. We started with kind of like the peak scene and then we kind of like work our way down into kind of like building for that moment. And, and yeah, it was, um, in the beginning, Miguel was, uh, you know, just kind of like, just let go and do, uh, do what you want which was really, really, really cool because normally, normally it doesn't work that way, right? I, I get a lot of restrictions in, in terms of the sound. Uh, he was actually very open in, in the way that he wanted me to approach this. So um, uh, we did agree in a lot of things in terms of uh, what we want sonically, like the kind of sounds that we wanted. Um, it's kind of like this computer orchestra in a way. So we knew that it was gonna involve a lot of synths. Um, um, something that required me to do a lot of investigations in, in like old analog uh, synthesizers and, and more modern ones, like digital ones. So, uh, but I already knew that the orchestra was gonna be based on mostly like uh, this old kind of like analog, kind of like dirty uh, sound. And, and yeah, we took it from there and, and he liked that first cue. Uh, and that was, that was really good because then we knew that, okay, now we can kind of like build from there. 
And, and yeah, and then, you know, we started kind of like shuffling around with other cues, working um, in how to build to that moment. And, you know, the film got like different edits, right? As, as it was developing, the, the whole story was developing. So um, some, of, some of the scenes were actually pushing us for a different sound. So we were exploring how to, how to do that without losing the, the identity that the, that the score was already kind of like given to the film. Mm-hmm. So, um, and, and yeah, you know, it just started that. It, you know, it was a lot of music and, and I think we got into a, a, a lot of cool sounding uh, cues that kind of like, um, we all reacted really good to it. And we kind of like try to then at towards the end, trying to like keep it like uh, organized, like, okay, let's stay with this kind of sound. We have a lot of sounds already that we have, we have worked Talk on. Talk more about like these sounds. It. Talk more about like these music choices. I, I, you know, the score is such, such an important part of the film and, and particularly yeah. in American Thief, I feel like you had to develop the scores for each character. Like you were talking about the computer mm-hmm. and all those uh, interfaces with the, with the sounds and you had to really create like something organic that lived by yeah. itself. And this had yeah. to really connect with the other scores of the other characters. I just want to talk, like if you could just share like the music choices, the elements, how did you go about like building this and how did it all connect? Yeah, so, so there was going to be a lot of computer involved. So I, I remember Miguel telling me like, okay, we need to kind of like create this um, uh, computer going nuts, kind of like a sound orchestra right? that exists. So, uh, so back then when I was doing my research in analog synthesizers, uh, what I was doing is that I was using some analog synthesizers that I had with me, but I was tweaking them to, to kind of like in a more modern way, right? Like kind of like how would that, old 70s 80s synthesizer will sound now right like with the with the creative choices that we do now right we kind of like are way more crazier there maybe we were in the 80s or in the 70s so um so yeah we were we were kind of like tweaking a lot of stuff a lot of stuff was coming from from scratch like a blank canvas and we were just putting a sound there and just tweaking them to the point that 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 it felt right and then that was kind of like our main uh, I guess color to it, and then we started building from there, right? So a lot of the cues started like that. They started with with this kind of like weird sound that we totally love, and then we started building from it, right? Um, there's some cues that actually had those weird stints, but then we added an orchestra, kind of like in the background, right? So it's kind of like a uh, kind of like answering a little bit of a, how how do we connect with the characters, right? We they had the element of what the story was about, but we also well, it's kind of like a documentary, but also it had um, it had these elements that you needed to connect with the with the actors, right? With the with the characters. So, and that that's when it became challenging because if it's a documentary, you kind of like have this kind of like third point view, right? Like you're the viewer and you're just kind of like presenting this kind of like uh, emotional bed. But when you have the characters um, and you need to you need to be able to tell the audience how they you know how how are they feeling right and music is trying to help with that so then it kind of like uh, the weird synth orchestra it starts kind of like shifting or, or changing into something different right so how to do that um uh that it doesn't sound too abrupt that was that was the challenging part and 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 yeah so we made we made a lot of sense. There was a lot of sense involved. I remember the, there was a cue that I worked on a weird kind of like this adjusted kind of like drum sounds. Uh, I remember that, that we reacted really well to that. And we were actually deciding to kind of like go in that route, like using this kind of like weird percur- percussion that sounds from afar. <laughs> you know, something like, like, uh, like something that's not locked, you know, and, and I remember we, we tried some of those ideas and ended up in some of the cues and, and I like that. It kind of like created this kind of like heaviness uh, on, the, on, on the film. Um, and that's what we have, right? Like we have this really strong, heavy element in the music and it's like throughout the whole, the, whole, the whole film, which is great. Like I feel like it's a character itself and I love all the work that you've done in it. And uh, mm-hmm. it just answered like, there's so many different also, uh, musical like uh choices like we i remember we did a trip hop song uh, a trap song yeah. uh there's classical can you just talk about all the different yeah. uh, music because yeah. i know there's like you put in the orchestra you put in the drums and you're such a talented artist because you end up using your mm-hmm. voice and all your instruments but can you talk about like 
how eclectic the film became at a certain point with all the musical choices. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Kind of like connecting with with with, uh, with right being a documentary, quasi documentary, right? But then it has to also, in a way, uh, the music needs to attach with the characters, right? Because there's also a story behind it. So, and that's where it kind of like made it easier to 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 go into these different uh, styles of music in a way. Uh, still, uh, those tracks, right, that were uh, the, the trip hop one that we did, it still has that, that kind of like uh, synthy sound. So you can still feel that it's, it's in the same language of what American Thief was kind of like uh, doing pretty much from the prior cues. So, um, so yeah, it, I think it, it helped out because uh, it, it was just a part of, a, of a, you know, it was already, it, again, the documentary kind of like going more into the emotional aspect of each character. It kind of like give us that little bridge to go there. And uh, I'm trying to remember some of the other cues that, 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 that we did. A lot of but, drums, you know, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, drum. a lot of industrial sounding, like even rock, yeah. like very nine inch nails, I would say. Not nine inch yeah. nails, but like Trent Reznor. You know, there we go. Yeah, there we go. That was like, that was a lot of analog analog yeah. synth, which is kind of like what yeah. distinguish uh, Trent Reznor and all that. Yeah. Can you talk about like uh, uh, these references? Like, where, where reveal some of the references? Rental, do you mind revealing some of the references that helped us helped you score this film? So yeah, definitely Trent Reznor. Uh, uh, not only as him as a as a film composer, which he's been uh, more active as a film composer, but also as the work that he did in uh, that he does with Nine Inch Nails. Uh, he's actually one of those few artists that do a lot of analog synthesizer in his music. Uh, the other one was, um, I think back then, Blade Runner was the, um, was out and was an, another film that was heavily on, on synth. Uh, and when I mean Blade Runner, right, the, the newer version is because it's all those old synths being used now, right, in 2000, whatever, 19 or 20. Uh, which is different to here in the arena Blade Runner um, in the 80s, I believe, or the 70s, um, the Evangeli score, which is uh, it's treated differently, right? The ideas were different back then as, as the way that we will use it now. So I would say that those are like pretty much the, the two kind of like influences there. Uh, obviously, I try to use it in my way. Right. It is a different film, it's, and you know, so so yeah. So just, I have one more question before, before we conclude it. Can you tell us what was your, uh, your favorite part of the process and also your, what was your worst part of the process? <laughs> uh, Start with the I worst. Mean, my, <laughs> the worst? Well, I mean, uh, not, not really. I mean, it's a, it's a, there's a lot of changes that happen, in, but that's, that's in any film. And, you know, everybody's trying to, to write to, you know, have a, have a really good project out there. So, and that sometimes, you know, that could be a little bit uh, uh, um, uh, overwhelming, right? If you're working already a lot in, in some other cues, uh, but that happens all the time. You're so being too kind. Yeah. You're being too kind. So, so was that, that, <laughs> that was fine. That was fine. <laughs> what I liked about it is that, is that it's a, um, yeah, it's a, it's a learning process because what, what yeah. I was just saying, you know, Definitely. it's a, a lot of old synthesizers and how to treat them differently, right? I didn't want to to sound like Trent Reznor. I didn't want it to sound either yeah. like my jellies or, you know, I needed to have his own uh, uh, identity. And it does. And it, sound, it sounds like you. It, it sounds like the film. It sounds like it's the film. Yeah. I can tell it's like you, you are the artist. Like, I know, I know there's a lot of you, a lot of your personality in the score. And I feel like it yeah. is like this for, for every single person that participated in this film, who collaborated in this film. I agree. Like myself as a writer producer, I can see myself in certain mm -hmm. scenes, you know? So I, I, agree, I, I agree. love that. I feel like that's, we hit the spot. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Totally yeah, agree, you know. man. It's a, it's a, I think that's, that's the part that takes the most because you, yeah. you, you do have that influence, but you also have to be yeah. attached from it a lot and, and make your own way, you know, so. Thank you so much for doing this, Francis. Uh, it's been such a pleasure uh, and wonderful that you could share these experiences. So thank you again, and uh, we'll see you at the movies. <laughs> All right. Thank you for having me, man. Bye.